With a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play in Azuma 11. We have a new area open on the world map. And by world map, it's just kind of a map of one region of Japan, not really the world, but. Welcome to the Inazuma Station. Yes, they even named a station after that legendary football team by the looks of things. Even in. Oh, it's not in. It's inner. Inner clothes. I am in my clothes. No, you're not inner clothes, though, are you? Welcome to inner clothes, where you can learn how to be in a clothes. You can get inside a clothes horse, but this is. Extremely off topic. Oh, I wish I didn't skip past those player headshots. There were some interesting ones there, like one of a sheep, I think. Like, did I imagine that one, or was there actually a player called Sheep with a picture of a sheepish face? Not sheepish as in the actual word, but like a sheep. Right, wrong way, Jack. Well, at least, at least you got the ball off him. Axel doesn't have enough TP on him to do his special move at the moment because I've been playing some more matches off screen. So let's instead. I like that move a lot. I mean, I kind of talked over them, but every sound effect just leaves such an impact in Kung Fu Header. I think it's fantastic. Sorry, mood breakers. You had to go down. But oh, well, at least you can go to inner clothes and pick up yourself some new equipment and then you'll feel all happy again. What scary guy? I'll deal with him later. This is a threshold. Something about raising body stats. Let's give it to Jack because he's got quite the body he wants to work on. What even happens here? I oh, just kick it around some cones. Well, can't argue with that. What's actually the objective of this episode? This one might be longer than usual because we do have an entire match to get into this video. And before we can get to the actual match, it's nice to explore the station before we go there because this is a new area. We'll basically be going to the station before every football match. There's just not as much need for exploration. So welcome to the chemists anyway. That child of mine is like a magnet for nasty scrapes and cuts. We keep running out of plasters. See, my mum didn't even mind it when I got cuts and plasters on me because she's a, a first aider, a nursery nurse, so she just took it as practice because she her field of study is, you know, on kids. She works in a school, so she's like, oh boy, I get to practice putting plasters on a kid again. Something like, not in those exact words, I wouldn't think, but it wasn't too bad. Like, I've never broken a bone in my life yet. I've still been wrapped up in full-on bandages just as a bit of practice for the police box, eh? This isn't Doctor Who. Now then, uh, the trains are wild. Only a few trains go to that jungle each day. You better hurry up if you want to make it. Right, well, we better rush past this car and have a good look around as fast as we can. This comic is pure go. What are you looking at? I do like that the area has some su suspicious characters. They're not all just friendly people who tell you how to play. But meanwhile, we can actually buy quite a lot of special moves here. If there's a tick on the top screen, that means your character has already learned the move before. Like Killer Slide, that's Bobby's move. Except Bobby's not on screen at the moment, so it's just there on Boomer instead. And Killer Blade, that's that's a cult's goalkeeping move that's not warp space, and we've already got it. There's even some good ones like Ghost Pull and Teleport Shot. To be honest, there's some good stuff here. I'm going to ignore it for now, as I don't really like to just give players a dribbling move or whatever and then they just get one by level up anyway. Special moves is something I tend to do later on in the game unless I know there's one I want to use. You sell the exact same things, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's not like a Pokemon where two different people sell two different things. It is just exactly the same. We ignored the ATM machine because Mark has no balance. How rude! Children these days! 
Yeah, I mean, this guy is pretty rude. What are you looking at? Well, that went faster than I expected. We've pretty much had a look around the station. Let's use this heal point to blow loads of money and get on the train to Wild. Well, that was convenient time. In fact, can we even get on that thing in time? You're going to have to run. I suppose they, they like running. Mark will be like, oh boy, that means we get to practice. This really is wild. It's in the middle of a forest. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Was that Nelly's voice? It came from over there. I wonder what's up. It's like a cuckoo, except we can't kick it. <laughs> And then cause a swarm of them to attack me. It would be fun if we could just kick it. We got a spinning cut. That's actually pretty good. Maybe I'll use that one. Wow, this car is amazing. You could say it's like a fish out of water here, though. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. They're from the wild team, right? Yeah, I wonder if they're really all that good. Do we have to do the inner Rover drop against this bunch of animals? We should leave it for today. Jack! Oh, it is. Jack, you really came to watch the match? Yeah, you said you'd worked out how to do a fantastic special move, remember? I just had to see it in action, so I snuck out here. Don't tell me, ma'am. Yeah, it's a really cool move. Just you wait and see. Who are you? Don't start acting all high and mighty just because you're my brother's helper. See you later, Jack, and good luck. And he just crosses the dangerous bridge above a field of smoke. <laughs> Country bumpkins. Can always rely on you to put it bluntly. Coach Savage is the name of our opposing coach. <laughs> Beat my chest a bit. It makes me sound like this when I try to talk. It's all sparkly and shiny. Squish. <laughs> what kind of catchphrase is that? But uh, I'll just say this now. Take in this bit of scenery. Are you going back into town? No. Because we can never come back to Wild Junior High, and this is the only time, except much later on, where we actually get to visit another team's camp before we play against them. Every other match, just as soon as you get on the train, the match begins. That time we get a little bit of build-up, and that's also one of the few areas which you can never access in any other game. Right, we've got to have Axel, and we've got to have Jack. So, who will I actually replace? Paul Peabody, I'm not too sure about having you up there, to be honest. One off you pop, does Miles want to have a game? I'll, I'll move him kind of down there, might as well give him a go. Okay, so yes, we are going to move straight into the match with Wild. Granddad, the Football Frontier Regional Qualifiers start today! I'm going to win and get through to the national finals. I hope you'll be cheering us on. Get your stylus ready. I do hope that Grandad will be going, Go Mark Evans! From up in the heavens, we get nice little tildes. Don't forget to sign your comments if you're editing a wiki. What's that? Some kind of wailing? You have to question everything. How dare you! I'm Savage! Manager of the Wild Team! Hmm. A manager like this, the players must be real beasts. We'll show you the power of the Wild Junior High Football Club! They say that the wild team always practices in the forest, so they'll have the strength of wild animals. Dear are all so savage. Evans, teach those brutes some manners. You don't have to tell me twice. Come on, everybody, let's go. Yes. And the build-up's over. Now we're going to start actually playing. Well, before we start playing, I would like to check the players' bios, because I'm sure there must be some funny ones. 
on wild. I mean, look at them all. They're, they're all just a joke already. He runs at the ball like a boar. Okay, the <laughs> frog-related goods. Like, you can't swim. That sounds not beneficial. Of course, he's got eagle eyes. Why isn't he just the captain? He sounds the best one. <laughs> Ten miles per second. Alan Coe. Yeah, don't forget, it's not just the description that are funny. The names are all puns as well. I know I'm going through them quite fast, really, but that's just because I believe in the pause to read. Uh, I mean, that's not much of a pun, to be honest, but pause to read is a thing. Gorilla is called Gary Lancaster. Let's just kick off into the match, eh? So, of course, at some point we're going to have to try and do the Inazuma drop. Other than that, we can just freely play. Kevin has gotten a lot faster in a short space of time. I know players naturally go a bit faster when they've got someone to catch up to ne very nearby. Not from far away, only in very close distance like that. It's a Steve on Steve! Steve Grimm versus Steve Eagle and Steve Grimm is the winner! That's our good luck sign. Axel used the heat tackle, but it's not very effective on a fish. Why is the fish man a wood element player? Generally, water moves in this game translate to air type moves. Well, Axel got an energy boost. Basically, when there's a special move you have to do, like the Inazuma drop or the dragon crash, you get an energy boost which restores your TP. And now we can... No! I can't do it! I knew I wouldn't be able to! Hey, what's going on now? It doesn't matter what you say to me. I just don't think getting stood on looks cool. I can't let my little bruv see that. Jack? I know. Bobby. I'm gonna let Bobby take over. Bobby's a great defender, isn't he? Yeah, but he's like a living twig. Don't be an idiot! <laughs> Captain? Doing nothing and running away looks much, much worse. What did you put all that practice in for? You want to make you look bad, was it? Look, if anyone laughs at me, at you, just send them to me and I'll sort them out. And I'll beat them up with me bare fists. Your big brother hasn't been doing much, has he? All that stuff about a special move must have just been porkies. No, that's not right. Jack, come on, let him have it. Your rhyming ace, remember? Say it. Jack, I'm going to win this battle and protect my sister. I need you. Without you, we can't pull off the Inazuma drop. Please, Jack. I'm counting on you. Now, when Axel Blaze says it to you, you just gotta do it. What are they talking about? Whatever they said, they said, it'll never pass up. Also, you, this is the Inazuma Drop! Physics! Gone. <laughs> yeah, that's the Inazuma Drop. Jack did his part, and now the Wild Claw. Well, he's grabbed it. We're done for. No, we're not. <laughs> Straight back out again. And within the first 10 minutes, we've got a goal. It's off to a good start already. We don't need to watch the replay. Oh yeah, I've, I've never even mentioned the fact that you can watch replays of goal if you just wait a little bit. How can they stop us? A stupid move! What? I managed to do it. Let's score some more goals. That's what I mean. Now the match really starts. Get ready, Wild. Yeah, just after a goal. If you wait a little bit, then you can watch a replay. But I generally just skip them. It's to me, says a Steve Eagle. But to me, business doesn't really mean much. It's just a bit of advice for the player if it's above your character's head. Just to say, hey, you, this player is open. You could pass to them if you like. But you've probably got your own strategy, so don't rely on it too heavily. Okay, so I'm not sure if there's any other mechanics. Oh, no. oh, Sam! 
That was just in, and then you just had to kick it out. That's like the first throw-in I think we've ever seen. I mean, I don't think there's really any other mechanics left to explain. I know some people still don't quite get how it works. But, you know, just the gist of it. I'll just go over the basics one last time to make sure everybody does get it. Just draw directions starting from your character. Nathan's got quick draw now. And they'll go in, you'll draw a green arrow, they'll follow that arrow if they cross a player while they're walking, then you'll have the option to steal the ball from them, or dribble past them, sliding tackle to get it off them, tap anywhere on the screen to pass the ball to that part of it, if you tap the goal then that's how you go for a shoot, it's not any sort of button press, you just have to tap the goal. Let's go for the Dragon Tornado, something else I should point out, if... Axel, for whatever reason, is not on the pitch. He generally is, let's be honest. But if he's not on the pitch, then just you can't do the Dragon Tornado. You've got to rely on Dragon Crash. But the Wild Claw is not enough to stop that. We didn't even really need Inazuma Drop in the first place. It's 2-0. The first half is coming to a close. Wild haven't fired up. I don't think they are going to fire up at all, to be honest, in a story match. And only seem to do it in friendlies. The friendly against Wild, I probably just won't show at all. There's no real reason for me to, because it's just the same match again. Except you don't have to do the Inazuma drop. Which is a really easy thing to do anyway. Much easier than the Dragon Tornado setup. Because, you know, you go for goal with Axel anyway, and it works straight away. So this is nothing like the occult match gimmick it's just something that you probably would have done regardless and you'd still win the match even if you didn't manage it okay so i'm waiting for the half time whistle now oh okay it's 31 minutes and 50 seconds we've already gone a minute and 50 seconds overtime but the game was nice enough to say we're allowed to have one last shot which they're actually gonna stop <laughs> there's a successful wild glow with you we went almost four minutes overtime there. That's a bit extreme. I mean, sometimes they won't give you overtime at all, but... Like, there's generally a maximum of two minutes overtime, and then if you can set up a, a goal attempt in that amount of time, then they'll let that go through to the finish as well. Race to the finish! But I do like Wild, they've all got very distinct styles. It must have taken, you know, a good few days or weeks of development just to design the characters. That was not gonna go anywhere. I don't know what I was playing at, to be honest. Getting a bit of a head getting a bit ahead of myself and cocky. Oh Screw the Dragon Crash, let's just go for a shot. Will the goalkeeper even get a chance? Oh yes he will. Yeah, he punched it away. Fair dues. Fine then. I've got a better idea. We will fire up. And something I neglected to mention the past few times. No! Get the ball back! Now we can afford a Dragon Crash because of the fire up. But what I need to mention is that I love the fire up music. Like, it gets me just so hyped. There's especially... There's one part in particular which I really enjoy. I'll just go quiet for that bit when we get to it. But before that, we've got to score another goal. Right, I think I want to kind of drag the attention away from Axel and Kevin for a bit. They've been getting all the glory. Why don't we go for goal with someone else? Because we've pretty much got this match in the bag now. We don't really need to try hard. Even if they did get a goal on us, it, it wouldn't cost us the match at all. To me, to me, Steve Eagle! Kevin can't afford any more special moves at all anyway, so like he might not even be able to get past the goalkeeper anymore. Goalie's still got some wild claws left in him. <laughs> now he just can't... As soon as I change my strategy, they're almost at my goal. Snake even... He, they're going for it. No, it's goal kick. Oh, they are going to fire up. Okay, so we're going to restart the music before we've even gotten to my favourite part. Uh, yeah, go on, Miles Ryan. Let's run a mile for me. You can use the flurry dash, which I don't believe I've shown off yet. This is actually Nathan's move, but because Nathan and Miles are friends, 
Miles has it too. He, he loves running. Let's just keep this going. Oh, never mind. Of course the chameleon gets the ball off me. They, did, they weren't even hiding with his neck. I think he... Is his real name something like Cammy Lion? I'm not sure. Let's go for a killer slide. Go on, Boomer. My favourite villager. You know, I don't really enjoy Animal Crossing that much these days, but I would love to revisit my Wii Town just to see if Boomer's still there. Because, you know, I haven't played that game in about two years because the disc broke and I've had no real reason to buy it again. Go on, Timmy. Chameleon's not going to beat us again, that's it. Oh, foul! Okay, I thought we were going to be able to get one goal with somebody other than Axel and Kevin, but... No, the, the, the game just doesn't want it. You cheated, cheater! Get out of my way! Okay, well, I guess it's Mark's time in the spotlight then. Go for the god hand! Oh, Tars and Kick. Alright, we're getting to see one of their special moves. Or oh, Hisatsu Technique, if you are Japanese. Or oh, Killer Technique, if you're watching the dub of the anime. There's so many spe names just for special move. No special move in the game, but Hisatsu Technique in anime. And Killer Technique, which is just the worst name of them all elsewhere. I don't think we even got to hear the best part of the music because it was just coming up in in the track and then Wild fired up instead so it just restarted the music again. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you all. Nice background by the way. Very tribal and jungly. Right, Axel just go for goal. We might as well get a fourth one. No real reason to but there's no reason not to either. There, Axel's got another goal. A bit disappointed I couldn't score with somebody else instead. But there you go, that's how the game goes. That's the way it goes. Axel said it himself. And that is pretty much the end of the game. Let's see who's leveled up. <laughs> I like fish fingers. We did it. We won the first round in the Football Frontier Championship. <laughs> City folk made you! City folk, I was just talking about that game. You won't have much clock to this us next time! Clock! Ah, we'll meet again, Wild Junior High! Yeah, I'll probably do the rematch against them off screen, like now. Sam's got a new move, it's the fake ball, which is a pretty amusing move. I shall have to show that off in the near future. Well done, guys. We won the first match. Ah. Uh... Jack! Jack, I'm so... Jack, you looked really... You look so cool! I want to be just like you someday! Jack! You really showed us what you're capable of, Jack! Yeah, getting stood on. That's what he was worried about coming across as. Of course he did. He's my brother! Jack, you're an amazing goal... He's not a goalkeeper. Yeah, I'm really good! Ah, hey, don't get carried away! The things get really mushy here for a sec. Or is that just my sweaty gym shorts? <laughs> Bobby, we've got you to thank for this win, seeing as you didn't even touch the ball in that match. Thanks, Bobby! No, I genuinely didn't do anything. You must be very pleased to have won your first match. I imagine it will all go up in smoke before your next match comes around, though. Yeah, who do you think that's gonna be? That's right. Yeah, walk straight into a goalpost. Well, well, well. You boys put on quite a show today. I dare say I'll have to watch you more closely to see how your next match unfolds. What do you mean? I mean I will be joining the football club as your new manager. What?! This time, you couldn't rely on winning by default like you did with Royal Academy. From now on, you'll need perfect victories to get into the National Championship. I'll be doing everything I can to achieve this goal, so to speak. Well, enjoy your celebrations. I'm going to put a massive downer on it. What on earth is she planning? Then we fade. See you later, Zach. You've probably gone by now. 
Ooh. Yes, uh, they they won their first match. Yeah, that's right. I'm afraid he rejected our offer. I see. He simply fails to understand our lofty ideals. All those who stand in our way will be crushed. Yes, we've got them right where we want them. All you need to do is say the word. Very good. Victory is everything. You know what you have to do. Yes, as you command. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm taking it deadly seriously anyway. In this part, we beat Wild. In the next one, we're gonna, I don't know, find out who the next opponent is, probably. See you then.